Hello team, welcome to my session on Coffee with Prab and today we're going to discuss some coffee shots of CISSP ISSAP. In this video, I'm going to discuss five technical questions which is mapped with the ISSAP context. This video can also helpful for the CISSP aspirants. If you're new to my channel, do subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos on a similar topic. My name is Prab Nair. For more information, you can refer my LinkedIn profile. So without wasting a time, let's start with the first part. Okay, it's a very tricky question. Question saying that you are working as a security architect. Okay, you are working as a security architect in an organization. You are closely working with the network architect to build a secure network. And they want to ensure only authenticated clients via NAC receive the IP address. NAC is basically ensure only the authorized device to be part of a network team. Okay. So what is the effective method to shield network from unauthenticated DHCP client? It means we have a DHCP server. So anyone basically request the discover or Dora, the DHCP server will provide the IP. So we want to restrict and we need to ensure only the authorized client should receive the DHCP IP. So option A configure DHCP snooping. So it is an effective method to shield the network from unauthenticated DHCP client. Okay. So DHCP snooping ensure that DHCP server can assign the IP address to only selected system, which is identified by the MAC address. And also the advanced network switches can directly climb toward the legitimate DHCP server to get the IP address and restrict the system from becoming a DHCP server on the network. So A can be the close option. Option B VLAN. See VLAN has no connect with the unauthenticated DHCP client. We are, lo we are looking for a shield network from unauthenticated DHCP client. Okay, VLAN is basically configuring on the layer two for the logical segmentation. So be removed. Implement DNA security is more about uh, name restrictions and all that. And implement ACL on the switch is more like a port security. So as a security architect, I will recommend to implement the DHCP snooping by which we can able to restrict the unauthenticated DHCP client from getting an IP address. That's why the answer is A. So let's move to the next coffee shot so security architect want to modify the company dmz to reduce the risk associated with the external and internal threats it means they want to cover both whatever the traffic is coming from outside whatever the threat is coming from outside they want to control that also and whatever the traffic is happening internally they want to control that also so which of the following design best meet the specified specification so option a block traffic from isp network destined for the blacklist IP that is basically used to block the external attack only. So A is not an answer. Option B implement the application whitelist at all level of organization. But again, it is internal to the organization. Only one firewall, each firewall interface to the cloud is managed by different administrator logging, but that is more from a tracking point of view. And option D is two firewall DMZ with logging where each firewall is managed by the distinct administrator. Yes. So by this way, I can able to control the single point of failure and it can able to track what traffic is coming from outside and what traffic is basically happening internally. So the close option, which is basically look like answer is basically D two firewall DMZ. Okay. So if one firewall is down from another firewall, we can able to manage and we are logging that and each firewall need to be managed by the distinct administrator. Otherwise it could lead to the fraud. Okay. And by this way, we can able to track our internal and external threat. Why we are specifically here internal threat. There is a possibility of fraud to be occur if one firewall, if all firewall managed by one administrator. So we split that activity and along with that, we install the two firewall for the extra filtration. So this is all in this coffee shot. Let's move to the next coffee shot. Security architect recommend implementing TACAS plus or taxes plus. over the radius okay in the organization for a triple a service what could be the primary reason behind this solution change option a uh, texas plus use tcp as its transport protocol and it encrypt all the data between the client and server actually what happened this is my vpn server this is my dial-up server and this is my access point okay so this is basically my uh, vpn this is my dial up and this is my wireless access point. So all are basically connected with the TACAS server. And then we basically connected with the AD. So when the information is coming from outside to VPN and dial up, it passed the information to TACAS. 
and TACAS basically encrypt the communication between the TACAS and AD. So anyone try to intercept, it is difficult to intercept the data. But in the case of TACAS, if we're using the previous technology, which is called RADIUS, the information which is exchanged between RADIUS and AD, it's sent in the plain text. Second is RADIUS use UDP, which is there is a probability of the connection drop, whereas the TACAS plus use the TCP. So that is why if you see the option A, TACAS plus use TCP as its transport protocol and it encrypt all this data between the client and server. Option B, TACAS plus encrypt the user password only as it been transmitted, which is a common in RADIUS and TACAS, so be removed. TACAS plus use TCP as a transfer protocol makes sense. And option D, TACAS plus use TCP as a transfer protocol encrypt all of the data between the client and server. And TACAS plus uses a true authentication authorization architecture which separate the authentication authorization accounting. So the close option is basically the D because A cover in the D as a complete description. That's why the answer is basically D because in a radius, what happens is when you configure the radius, it is configured with all the AAA service in a one server. But in TACAS plus, we have an option to customize. You want to make it as a dedicated authentication server, authorization accounting. So that kind of a key capability TACAS plus basically offer, which is a Cisco proprietary. Alternate of a TACAS plus, we have a diameter as an open source. So summary is that first we have a TACAS from Cisco. They understand the limitation of a TACAS. We introduce a radius. Radius was the open source. Okay, then Radius has a limitation of using a UDP protocol, connection drop, we don't have an option to customization, proper support was not missing. Then we TACAS Plus was introduced. But TACAS Plus was a Cisco property and very expensive. So we're looking for the alternate of a Radius which address the limitation of the Radius and TACAS Plus both. Then we basically introduce the diameter. So let's move to the next coffee shot. Okay, so EAP TLS provides for a mutual authentication and integrity protected and safer suit negotiation, EAP TLS. Security architect was very impressed with the EAP TLS over the leap because leap is use the password mechanism for the authentication. Still the implementation of a EAP has a significant concern in the organization. It means EAP TLS. What is the primary concern a security architect? Question document concern, okay? Primary concern security architect need to review while implementing a EAP TLS in the organization. So option A, it required both server and client certificate to be installed, which lead to maintenance issue. Exactly. In EAP TLS, what happen is, uh, we have a server here. So client need to store certificate and server need to store certificate. So whenever they're going for authentication server send his certificate and client send his certificate. So there is a mutual authentication is there, which is from a security point of view, a great thing. But just Im imagine if we have a 400 system or 4,000 system or 40,000 system, maintaining a certificate in all, it's a challenge. So before EAP TLS, we were using a leap, which is a pure password base. Okay, there is a one video I made on that, okay, which is called as a prep authentication. If you type, you will get the video in description box. I will share the video. Make sure if you're preparing for ISSAP, review that video also in which I discuss about the different type of authentication protocol with coffee shot. So leap was using a password base, which is prone for sniffing. Then we introduce the EAP TLS where the client and server both need to maintain the certificate, which is from a mutual perspective, it's a very great security point, but maintenance is very high. Option C was, uh, we have one more, which is called as a, a PEEP. So in PEEP, what happened is, client no need to maintain the certificate. Okay, then we introduce a EAP TTLS, which say that, okay, client don't need to maintain certificate, which is an open source solution, because PEEP was not an open source. Okay, we introduce another alternative, which is called as a P, uh, this is called EAP TTLS, EAP TTLS, which is basically the open source. So first was a leap, which is a password base. Then we introduce a EAP TLS where the client and server both need to maintain the certificate, but maintenance is a challenge. Then we introduce the PEEP in which client no need to maintain the certificate from the server. They extract the certificate and then they authenticate, but it was not open source. So alternate of that, we introduce the EAP TTLS, but that is not secure as we have a EAP, TT, a EAP TLS. So in the option A, you can see that it required both servers and client side certificate to be installed, which lead to the maintenance issue, which is actually true. 
ऑप्शन बी यूज ऑफ अ वायरलेस डिवाइस सेंड अ सर्वर अ पासवर्ड बट अगेन वी आर यूजिंग अ सर्टिफिकेट हेयर सो बी डेफिनेटली रिमूव बिकॉज बी सेंग दैट यूज यूजर ऑफ अ वायरलेस डिवाइस सेंड द सर्वर अ पासवर्ड एंड सर्वर ऑथेंटिकेट टू वायरलेस डिवाइस विद अ डिजिटल सर्टिफिकेट विच इज स्ट्रॉन्ग विच इज रॉन्ग ऑप्शन सी जनरेट द इंडिविजुअल सीमेट्रिक सेशन की अगेन इन द ए पी टी एल एस वी वर्किंग ऑन द सर्टिफिकेट पार्ट सो सी डेफिनेटली रिमूव there is not a compatibility issue it is all about the maintenance issue so the biggest concern because compatibility issue can be addressable individual symmetric session key can be manageable but the biggest concern was a maintenance issue that is why the answer is a so let's go through the next coffee shot so which solution offers standard access control which solution offers standard access control by restricting network access until full authentication and authorization have been completed and provide the robust authentication framework that allow for a different ap model to be plugged in so wep is only limited to wireless wpa is also limited to wireless wpa2 is also limited to wireless in the entire equation they're not talking about wireless so the close option is basically 802.1x which is a eap which is used with wpa2 also so what happen is we have called this as a nac solution so what happen is suppose we have a access point we have a vpn server so whenever any connection request come to them they forward the authentication request to radius server in the radius server we can check the health benchmark and all that with the help of nap and nac then radius pass the information to the ad and ad is basically going to authorize radius and radius going to authorize the system and then they basically issue the authorization so that is why they saying the access control by resting network access until the full authentication authorization have been completed so if we have a multi vendor request it is passed through the radius and radius basically pass the information to ad until as ad doesn't authorize radius will not going to authorize these devices if radius authorize the devices then only they get access to the resources so no matter the request coming by wep wpa wpa2 or vpn or dial up that's why the answer is 802.1x so this is all from my side in this coffee shot if you find this coffee shot useful do share your comments in the uh, do share your views in the comment box and uh, do let me know what is the next video you want me to make on the issap thank you for watching this video goodbye